Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna create these great 3D card and text animations in Framer. As you see while we scroll, our headlines, cards, icons and text they have are being animated in a great looking way. So let's get started. As you see I have some elements uh, that I created beforehand to keep the tutorial shorter but we're going to create the elements that we're going to animate from scratch. First I'm going to create a text element that says simplicity and make its style heading one under the text section and I'm going to take it out of the text stack carrying it above then I'm going to wrap it in a stack and name the stack headline then i'll make headlines a uh, position type fixed and make it top space 100 and i'm going to turn it into a component leaving its name as it is in the component screen i will select the text simplicity and click in the content labels under the text section at right panel i'm gonna create a plain text variable and leave its name and default value as they are as the animation of our text and cards are going to be section based we need to create sections or cards next before creating other headlines to be able to test so after going back to home screen i'm gonna create a new frame and name it card I'm gonna place it under the text section next I'll start changing cards properties at right panel starting from its width making it 736 and its height is going to be 566 and under styles click in the box next to fill and selecting gradient at top and going to presets I'm going to select second to last preset for its fill I will also make its radius 32 pixels before adding inner elements and turning our card frame into a component I need to add perspective and origin properties under transforms to be able to animate it the way I want later so I'm gonna click transforms and first I'm gonna add a perspective leaving its value at 1200 I'm gonna click the plus or transforms again and add an origin and I'll make it both x and y values zero now we can start adding inner elements to the card right so I'm gonna click the insert button and type material to the search box to add an icon to my card then I'm gonna start changing its properties first I'm gonna lock its aspect ratio and uh, for width i'm gonna enter 162 making sure that its position is set to absolute i'm gonna make its top spacing 200 i'm gonna center it horizontally and i'm gonna make its opacity 0.5 under the material component properties i'm gonna change its name to auto awesome and change its color to turquoise from my color styles lastly i'm gonna make its style rounded the last element we need in our card is text so i'll create a text element I'm gonna paste the text that I've created with chat GPT and I'm gonna make sure that its style is set to body from my text styles and I'm gonna carry it to the bottom and I'm gonna start changing its properties at the right panel I need it to be pinned to bottom and its bottom space needs to be 90 and I also need to make sure that it's horizontally centered now it looks like we are ready to create our card component right since we have all elements that we need So I'm gonna right click to my card frame and select create component. In the card component screen, I'm gonna create a new variant. Then I'm gonna change its fill to last gradient from my presets. Now we can create our card component variables. So after clicking the icon in the primary variant under the material component properties, I'll click the label name and select create variable, leaving its name as it is. And I'm gonna click the label name under material component properties. And I'm gonna assign the icon name to the variable that I'm going to call icon we also need another variable for our text element in the card component right so after selecting the text i have under the text section click in the content label this time i'm gonna create a format text variable leaving its name and default value as it is since we created the variable we need in our card component we can easily duplicate and make the record changes right so after going back to home screen i'm gonna duplicate my card component and under its component properties I'm gonna change its variant to variant 2 and icon to repeat and paste the content that I've created 
ChatGPT for this particular component instance. And I'm gonna continue creating other card component instances. But first, I think there's something wrong with this text since I have some extra space after it. So after fixing it, I'm going to duplicate my second card component and make the required changes. Changing this variant to variant one, I come to accessibility and its content. And for my last card, I'm gonna change its variant, also icon, and of course its text content. Since our next step is gonna be creating scroll transforms based on sections in view, we need to define those sections, right? So I'll start selecting my cards and adding a scroll section value to each of them. So four for last card, three for the third one, and so on. And of course, we didn't have a predefined scroll section as trigger to my pre-made text element. I'm going to define the trigger section in its scroll fact properties. Actually, I'd like to show another workaround that I have in order to make my go to top button to work. Since I have a navigation bar here that I'm hiding on scroll and showing it back while I scroll upwards, I need to put a separate frame with a scroll section to be able to define as targets of my up button elements here. So as you see, for my go to top button, to be able to define a scroll section at the very top that is visible at all times, I needed to create a separate hidden frame that has zero opacity with a top scroll section. So I want to mention also that workaround. Now we can start animating our headlines, right? So I'm gonna select the headline I have and after selecting it, I'm going to click the effects on the right panel. I'm going to select scroll transform and start defining the effect I need. Trigger is going to be section in view, of course. And for first headline component instance, the trigger section is going to be one. And under from, I'm going to make the opacity zero and scale five. And I will click 3D next to rotate, enter 90 for the X rotation value. And I will make its x cube 180. Lastly, I will make its both x and y offsets minus 300. And under 2, I'll make sure both opacity and scales set to 1. And as we need the headline to disappear when the next card is in the view for the second part of our animation, I'll click at section since the next section is 2. For the first headline, under 2 state, I will make its opacity 0. And again, click in the 3 next to rotate, I will make its X rotation value 90 degrees. I also need a headline to be at top, so I'm gonna enter Y for its Z index value. And under transforms, I'm going to add an origin value to improve the animation and make it look better. I'm going to enter zero for both X and Y values. Now we can test our headline animation, right? As you see, it works perfectly. Now we can create other headlines and make the required changes, right? So I'm gonna duplicate the headline element and I'm gonna click the transform box to change the sections to the proper ones for the second headline, which is going to be two. And its following section is going to be three. And while it's still selected, I'm also going to change its content. And for the third headline, I'm going to duplicate it, change its sections in the transform effect and also change its text content and our last headlines section is going to be four and its following section is bottom and also its content is going to be changed to responsiveness now we can test all the headline animations And it works as intended, right? Time to animate our cards. So after selecting the first card component instance, I'm gonna click effects 
and select scroll transform then i'll click section and view for the trigger and for the first card i'll select section one and under from i'll make its opacity zero and scale five click in 3d next to rotate i will enter minus 50 for its x value and enter 180 for the x scale value and under two state i'll make sure opacity and scale is both set to one so let's test it As you see, our card animation works perfectly. Now, all we need to do is copy in the effect to the other cards, right? So I'm gonna first copy the effect that my first card has, and I will select other three cards, right click, and I'm gonna paste the effects to them. Then I'm gonna start individually changing their trigger sections. So the trigger section for the second card is going to be two. Basically the scroll section we assigned to itself and three for the third one and four for the last one. Now we can test our cards animation altogether. First card, second card our headlines come into play in a real nice way you can either press the go to top button or go to top slowly yeah it works as we need now we need to add the effects for the icons so after double clicking a card i'm gonna go to the card components screen and i'm gonna select the icon element in the primary variant and on the right panel i'm gonna click effects and i'm gonna select scroll transform again and trigger is gonna be again section and view and since we're gonna need each trigger section to be different for our each icon in the card components i need to assign the scroll section value to a variable right so i'm gonna click create variable and leave the name as it is now we can make changes in the from state of the transform and under from settings i'm gonna make the opacity zero again and scale is gonna be five to be consistent with the other transforms next i'm gonna click 3d and this time i'm gonna make z value minus 180 lastly i will enter 180 for the x value next to skew and of course i'm gonna make sure that both opacity and scales set to one under two settings and for the second part of our animation i'm gonna click add section and i need to create another variable for the next scroll section so i'm gonna name it next scroll section and lastly i'm gonna make both opacity and scale zero under two settings since we want our icon disappear when the next scroll section is at the bottom of the viewport we can go back to home screen to test our icon animation right while the first card is selected under the card component properties i'm gonna select one as scroll section and for the next scroll section obviously i need to select section two i'm gonna go ahead and define required scroll section for each card component instance so obviously there are going to be two and three for the second card three and four for the third one and for the fifth one next scroll section is going to be bottom and scroll section obviously is going to be four now we can test our icon animations as you see they work as we need right lastly we need to animate the texts in the cards right so after going to card component screen i'm gonna select the text in the primary variant i'm gonna click effects scroll transform section in view and for the section i'm going to select next scroll section variable that i created before then in its from state i'll make it both opacity and scale one since we need our text to be visible in its initial state and under two i will make opacity zero so we are basically creating a fade out effect when the next scroll section is at the bottom of the viewport now we can go back to home screen and test our text animations as you see we completed animating every element we need right
hope you liked the tutorial be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on and also don't forget to check my other tutorials at the end screen so uh see you in the next one yeah.